People today, I want to talk to you about something very interesting outside of Northeastern Ohio. Well, let me tell you what, folks. Um, Cleveland, ayota fell para foto. Let me tell you why. First of all, I got to say that this guy named Johnny Menzel, he partied at Las Vegas. He um, he was in disguise. And somehow he was caught in disguise with him partying. Well, basically, all business went out. LeBron decided to ditch him because he found out the news and, you know, he trying to communicate Johnny Benzel and somehow it was lost out of communication and and somehow um, people in the city of Cleveland doesn't want Johnny Benzel because of his childhood, childish behavior. And I believe... My quite a fact is he is not taking a football game very, very seriously because he partied too much as a college student. And people in college party so much and, you know, get into trouble all the time because they party wicked, wicked hard and it's not good. It's going to affect the team and it affected badly and Cleveland booed them out and they did. So, um, and now since for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they just fired David Blatt. Let me just see at the end David Blatt, he is the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers who had struggled with connecting with the players. And the players doesn't seem to cooperate in their behaviors towards David Black. And now, since David Black trying to have hope for people who believe in in him has lost. And somehow the GM felt like, you know, since there's no connection of, you know, being with the coach to the players and the people, even though the record still went over the top in the Eastern Conference. I understand how they met a lot, but I think it's the big mistake of them all to get rid of that guy because in word for word, he said something in a news conference that pissed off the general manager because he he kind of defended himself or he, something more he said. Um, and basically, and his issues towards LeBron James. LeBron James, I clearly would say, LeBron James had had um frustrating time. He's very frustrated. He cannot be a part of the team's, you know, aspect of everything. And it's just being a joke. A joke means that LeBron James doesn't seem to, you know, trustworthy enough with David Black. And 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 basically the general managers think, you know, with the attitude of LeBron James and the guys, they don't want this showbiz. Only they can. So, in terms of him, he got rid of David Black. And as a result, in the next day, since they had the assistant coach become the new head coach, and I don't see why there's a disappointment right there, but to these fans, they booed the hell out of the Cleveland Cavaliers team because the way they got rid of David Black and David Black se fue como mierda y la gente se jataba Cleveland está feo para foto que nadie lo conoce because ahora Cleveland 
se jodió muchísimo. So, the whole fans was pissed. They, um, they booed the whole team the other night against Chicago at Cregan Loans Arena. I think the city of Cleveland uh, knows that it meant a lot for them with Coach Blatt, who helping the team go to the finals. I mean, I believe this is a messed up soap opera in the NBA. Um, I think it's just, this is not just a soap opera, it's a drama series. And the storyline was proven in facts that what what's going on with David Black and the entire team of the Cleveland Cavaliers losing that trust. And and somehow I my opinion, I think David Black deserves um better than that. He deserves much better than that, and I think he deserves much more better what he should be treated in Cleveland. I think the option is he can go to coach Philadelphia or even Brooklyn. I think times like if you want the – I think the Brooklyn Nets should get David Black. Or the Philadelphia Sixers. Because they don't have a head coach can help lead the team. The order to get David Black to Philadelphia is a new owner's aspect to give that trust. And they said, you know what? Let's give it to David Black. Because he knows how to coach a team and do whatever. He's going to have to start do more experiences coaching the NBA. I think Brooklyn should open up and Philadelphia should be open up about David Black. And maybe David Black could be assistant coach somewhere, but I think he should be the head coach in Philadelphia or Brooklyn because it is It has to be the way to have David Blatt because David Blatt should be the head coach of Brooklyn or Philadelphia. If he can wind up in Philadelphia, that would be good. Or of a Brooklyn, New York. I mean, he, I think David Blatt deserves much better than he was supposed to in Cleveland. Because Cleveland, you know, they can't, they don't have a team support system. They don't have a team that should be focusing for the championship. I don't think so. I don't think they're focusing on the bigger games. They lost to the Warriors. They lost to the Spurs or the biggest games of the recent that are key they win this championship. And losing to Chicago is very embarrassing. I think it's very, very embarrassing. Um... You know, in the for, throughout the state of Ohio, doesn't matter if you live in Cincinnati, Columbus, whatever, in that area. I think Cleveland needs to open up a, a ways that they need to win the championship. And to get the team effort together, guys like LeBron... All those guys, Kyrie Irving, everything. They, the GM wants to make the trade out of the, the players like Kevin Love. Um, I don't know. They they probably think about Miles Gall, but I think there's some false reporting going on. Um, but they really, really want to start to make the trade on their best players. I, th- I think they um giving up too easily about what's going on in the NBA. And and I think the entire Cleveland fans has wished to have the championship and nothing's going to happen. So that's all I'm going to say. See you later.
and bye folks